This next video is to show how you could use a quick campaign with a custom list. So in the in a previous video, I showed how to create your own view. Um, in the previous one, I showed Active Utah and Colorado contacts. And then from that list, I have a number of, of names of and phone numbers and so forth. Um, the thing I want to do now is I want to create a calling campaign so that I can make sure that I call each one of these people. Um, what I would do is uh, actually let me further, um, what I would do is go to I'm going to go to the diff a different view here because I want to just for demonstration purposes to show a smaller number, but you could do this for any number of contacts. So I picked my call center partner contacts and then from this list, I'm going to go ahead and just select the contacts here and then I want to pick quick campaign. From here, um, I can select if you had multiple pages, so you had a thousand records, you would want to choose the bottom option for all records on all pages. Um, I'm going to pick, uh, it doesn't matter in my case, because they're all selected, it could be on the current page or all, either one of these options would work, but you really do want to use the last option if you're picking more than, um, say, uh, 250 records. So I'll go ahead and pick that. You'll get an intro dialogue, create a, create a quick campaign. Um, you can just click next. I'm going to call it my phone call activity phone call for um, 1-31-2018. Click next. Oh, it's going to be a phone call. It's going to be assigned to me, not to somebody else. Um, and then I'm going to choose next. Notice that here is where um, it's adding the phone call body so that this will help me understand when I go look at my to-do list what this call is for. And so I'm going to call this um, call center intro because it's to my call center contacts. Notice that these other fields are grayed out, which is fine. Um, go ahead and pick, uh, add a description in um, like... Uh, Call and use script number one. Uh, if I get a voicemail, then use script number two. Um, I can type in whatever I want here as a reminder to me as I'm putting this in uh, so that when I actually get the phone call activity, it'll help prompt me to remember what I'm doing. I'll go ahead and click next. Oh, it says that I need to have a due date. Uh, so for me, I'm going to have the due date be by Friday because I'm trying to get them all called this week. Go ahead and click next. And then I'll create it. And that's about it. Uh, from here, to verify that I'm getting those phone call activities, I would come over to uh, my activities list. Then I would look at, I would filter to only phone call activities. So my phone calls. And then I can see these contact center intro calls being created automatically for me. If I open one of them, you can see here that the phone number is there that I'm supposed to call. Um, it says what I put in the description, use call script one, or if I get a voicemail, use call script two. Um, and then once I make the call, uh, I would actually click mark complete. Um, one other way of just getting back to that list, so I'm coming back to the list. I don't have to go into the detail screen. I could make the whole call right from this list. So I'm gonna call Aaron Bayless, there's his phone number, pick up the phone, make the call, either have a conversation with Aaron or leave a voicemail. Uh, once I'm done, I can click Mark Complete and move on to the next one. Uh, that's all for phone call activities. Thank you much.